Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. March, in fact. It was the first day of spring, just a couple of days ago. The sun is shining. Valley Girl, what do we have this week? We are going to take you to the hiking trails. Five, top five hiking trails in the valley. Amazing. And, and Nacho's actually gone on. Don't out. tell the secret! <laughs> a new, new Lone Level will be uh, happy. Memory of so. Memories, Greystone Manor, Sex, Lust, Intrigue, Murder. Ooh. Fantastic. Amazing. Ooh. Amazing subjects. I'm scared All to ask. All in a minute. I'm scared <laughs> to ask anymore. Um, so the market is still crazy hot and this time of year being spring is always the best time to list your house there's an absolute lack of inventory low interest rates the market is absolutely crazy um, and we've shown you a video of a new listing we have in the Donners of Studio City where Studio City meets the Hollywood Hills Donna Maria very soon after coming up straight after this In Studio City, surrounded by trees, is a secluded Spanish-style gated estate sitting high atop the hills of the Donnas with canyon and city light views. Open floor plan seamlessly blends the dining room, living room, and chef's kitchen. Authentic custom Spanish tile floors flow throughout along with the finest wood details and wood-clad vaulted ceilings. Three beds and two baths are located on the ground floor. Two beds are located on the second floor. The second floor has the master bedroom with a Romeo and Juliet balcony overlooking the garden pool with a huge walk-in closet and custom cabinetry. The second upstairs bedroom can be used as a den with a heated patio retreat and surround sound music system that sends your favorite music throughout the house and pool area. And finally, a spacious grass-covered yard with heated pool make for a California luxury lifestyle backyard. It's in the Carpenter School District and the west side is within easy reach of this huge flat corner location. Contact us right away for a private showing. This is Lon, I'm in front of Greystone Manor. Sex, intrigue, danger, money, it's got it all. And you'll see it in this video that I put together about the history of this iconic Beverly Hills mansion. In 1926, Oil man Edward Doheny Sr. granted a deed of ownership to his son Ned for 12.5 acres of his 429-acre parcel of land in Beverly Hills known as the Doheny Ranch. At the end of September 1928, Ned, his wife, and their five children moved into a newly built estate named Greystone. The baronial-style mansion with its slate exterior and leaded glass windows, quickly became the most prominent landmark in the area. On February 16, 1929, tragedy struck the Doheny family when Ned was shot and killed by his personal secretary. After Ned's death, Lucy was never the same. She lived in the mansion with her children and remarried a wealthy oil man in 1932. They remained on the property until 1955. In 1965, the city of Beverly Hills purchased the house and ground for $1.3 million. Greystone is 46,054 square feet with an interior design that mirrors 18th century English style. It has 67 rooms and huge grounds that includes a stable area, tennis courts, greenhouse, kennels, and a swimming pool. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it. I lived in Truesdale Estates, which is right up the hill here from where Greystone stands. It's a terrific place to visit. It's got a fantastic history. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Okay, part two. Well, how do we present our home? Really, how do we present our home for maximum value? Okay, so I can't speak for anybody else. I can only speak for what we do and what 
your agent should do. If your agent isn't doing all this, you give me a call, right? So the house is already prepared. Nicely, freshly painted ideally, looking very presentable, staged and dressed even better. Some fresh flowers won't hurt. Then we want to do absolutely first class photography. So we would bring in one of our top class photographers and get you know some very uh, edgy, awesome, uh, architectural digest type pictures. Um, then we would do a video, crazy video. We're going to be there the whole day long, we're going to bring an army, crash through it, and we're going to do a crazy video with drones. We'll be there if the sun goes down because we want to get all those nice reds and blues and awesome twilight shots. So crazy pictures, very edgy, editorial-esque. Uh, amazing video with crazy drones swooping in towards the house and, and whatever, depending on the style of the house, what feel we feel it needs. And then on top of that, you especially in these uh, pandemic times, you want a 3D walkthrough of every single piece of the house. So if you're out of state, if you're out of country, wherever you are, with or without a headset, you can actually click, 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 walk through every inch of the house and the grounds, inside and out, from the comfort of your own living room. And then, if you really love it, then I would still suggest that you visit the house in person if possible, or with a friend, with a, uh, you know, with FaceTime or video or Zoom or something, and then we'd like, ideally, a cheeky English person perhaps, but we'll have a very, we'll have one of our, one of our team, and they're all awesome, show every single viewing in person, no lockbox or any of that, talk about the merits of the house, the neighborhood, the coffee shops, the area, the ambience. This is how you get the maximum value for your house. Thank you. Who is the perfect person to buy this house? So John, Lon, do you think that this house would be good for younger people? I think it would be great for younger people. You got a pool area, you got a place that you can entertain, what? right? And so it's, it's really nice and access to the kitchen, a barbecue down below. I think it'd be a terrific place for a younger couple. This massive outside area, pool and spa with incredible views. So if, younger, if young, younger buyers did buy this place, it would actually be almost the perfect party location. There's two completely separate kitchens, plenty of spaces, lots of indoor, outdoor room for activities. Could be great. Yeah, absolutely. The next question is, is this property good for the investor? So it is, it's a investment property. Yeah, it, it is, as a matter of fact. Uh, you've got uh, short-term rental, it's an ADU. Uh, you can have separate uh, family members live here. They have their own access. I think it's a terrific, uh, buy in a great place, it, aside from just the uh, property value going up over time anyway. Absolutely. So, so as I said, with space in the area, it could easily be uh, in like an indoor suite, short-term rental, as it's completely own separate entrance, as its own living space and its own bedroom area. So if you want to rent the property to something in the mortgage, it's a great option. Got it. Thank you so much. And what do you think this unit would rent for? What would it rent for? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, it's old timer. I think it could uh, rent for seventeen fifty, maybe two thousand dollars. Yeah, it depends on just how much of the how much of the space and access you gave to your tenant. But yeah, we think definitely somewhere between fifteen hundred and two thousand, possibly even more. Do you think this property works for older people or disabled people? Yes, it would work good for older and disabled people. Do you want to talk about that? Well, we are here in the garage, which you can drive straight in with your shopping bags or your walker or whatever you may have. And then, the voila, we have the other way. So Lon, being an older person, has given us a demonstration. I will see you later. <laughs> and this goes all the way straight through to all levels of the house. So, we bring you out on the first floor living area, also goes straight through to the master bedroom suites. Would this property be good for people who want to work from home? Yeah, this property would actually be perfect 
for somebody who wants that live work space. Because it's a downstairs bedroom on this level, when you come through the front door, it lends itself perfectly for an office space. Yeah, as well, there's a couple of different living spaces on either side of the house with a, a library that's attached to it or a working area. And down below, of course, you have a, a separate unit that could be used as a working space. So there's plenty and above. Bedrooms above. Upstairs, we have four main uh, oversized bedrooms. You can very easily divide them. The lower area, you can use downstairs as an office. If the room was there, then it's perfect for an office. Two main living areas and a study. So there was plenty of room in this house room. to divide it into a live workspace. Perfect pandemic working environment. Would this property work for a big family? And this house lends itself perfectly for the large family. Obviously we have five two bedrooms. Um, we have two massive master suites. In fact, every bedroom on this floor has its own walk-in uh, wardrobe area. And we have six bathrooms that really lend itself perfectly to a larger family. Thank you very much. As you can see, this property works for many types of people. So if you would like to get more information, give me a call. Go again, go again. One, two, three. Hey, so thank you for joining us this month's vlog. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Any closing comments, Matter? No. <laughs> Look, yeah, uh, my closing comment is give us a call, contact us. Let's get together on some uh, properties. Do your thing, do our thing. Do your thing, do our thing. Spring is in the air, it is the best time to lease your house any time of year we're waiting for you